Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to a Tuesday night. Uh, it is the Earth Master out here, July 16, 2024, about 9.08 p.m. here, California time. Uh, latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows a earthquake here in the Mediterranean. Also getting some movement on the big island of Hawaii, as you can see there. Quite a swarm coming in here in the last 24, hour, 24 hours, including a 3.7 and a 3.4 here. Just moments ago, right around the upper east rift zone here. we got to watch this because we could be starting to see the, the signs here of an imminent eruption. If this does kick up anymore, uh, there is one of the earthquakes shown up there on the map. Again, just uh, a couple minutes ago, they're at the Hot Caves area. Uh, I'm not for sure if these have been reviewed or not. Still underneath automatic status, so uh, we'll have to see what these guys state in terms of the correct uh, magnitude and location, but I want to go over and see what's going on here across this area where these earthquakes are hitting. Uh, seismograph station here off to the side, uh, right there. Does show the last 12 hours of earthquake activity. Uh, I don't see that three pointer showing up here yet, but uh, definitely looks like things are stirring up out there across the big island of Hawaii. Of course, we got the major inflation that's going on here. Uh, across the summit and upper east rift zone pretty sharp rise here earlier uh, in the day today but overall trend is continuing to show elevated inflation here across this area uh, let's go check out some webcams here and see what we got at the surface level summit cam of kilauea volcano uh, shows uh, normal activity out here got a little bit of uh, volcanic gases here seeping through the middle where the last, well, not the last eruption, but previous eruptions had taken place there at the Lava Lake area. Uh, east Rift Zone here looks uh, fairly decent. I don't see anything of any major concern out there across the uh, East Rift Zone for now. But uh, as always, got to keep an eye on the uh, earthquake activity. And most of the time when we get ready to see an eruption here, we'll see a large increase in earthquake activity here. So we'll see if this 3.7 doesn't trigger off a uh, a little swarm out here. Maybe uh, maybe an eruption. We'll have to keep an eye on that. A little bit of activity out here across the Mauna Loa area as well. Fairly deep underneath this area. Nothing of major concern out there for now. Uh, taking a look at the last 24 hours here on the map, as you can see, a handful of earthquakes out here. Uh, California is still getting a little bit of activity up here at the northern in, or southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone with a couple ones uh, and a 2.4 in there as well from earlier this afternoon. Let's check out the trimmer map here, see what we have for the uh, Cascadia trimmer. 239 epicenters of trimmer. Looks like we're going back up here after a day or so of a, of a minimal amount. Starting to kick it back up across um, down here along the southern portion and almost up here to the northern end of uh, tremor activity. As far as the cascades go up here, a little small microquake activity across the uh, Mount St. Helens area. Northern California, aside from that over here, did see those earthquakes underneath the Lake Almanor area this morning. Another 2.6 strike in this area uh, earlier this afternoon handful of earthquakes also down here across the uh, Calaveras fault zone and the um, creeping set well let's see San Andreas fault there the Santa Cruz mountain section seeing a little bit of smaller earthquake activity today as well no major movement to report here across the southern portion of the state for now but as always you know it's just pretty much any day now we could see a, a big earthquake strike out there Texas and Oklahoma typical Zones out there getting hit up into the Alaska area. We did see a four-pointer, almost a five-pointer earlier this afternoon as well. 103 kilometers deep, getting some deeper activity out here across this major subduction zone. Uh, and down here across the Tonga area, Vanuatu region, we got one earthquake that filled in earlier this morning. That's going to be a 5.0 in our watch area. Um, still really haven't filled in all that much. In fact, this earthquake is a fairly deep one here into this uh, subduction zone, this trench area. And uh, really no major adjustment at the surface, but I'm sure it's building. It's been awfully quiet here for quite a while across this area of the plate boundary. 
Uh, some movement stirring up here in the Philippines area. Well, south of the Philippines, 5.4 into the Indonesia Islands area. 10 kilometers deep for that quake. And as you can see, the rest of the uh, map out here, uh, 4.1 up in the uh, Georgia area around this mountain range. It's outside the uh, Caspian Sea earlier this evening. Uh, let's see what's going on here for the Iceland activity here real quick. As we um, pull up the map, still get a little bit of movement north, north and south here. Got to watch these earthquakes because they could amplify conditions out here across the uh, Savart Singhi area. Uh, let me go back here and check out, see if they put out any update yet for that Iceland area. Um, magma, this was put out uh, today, it looks like. Magma accumulation underneath Savart Singhi, quite stable for the last two weeks. Uh, but likelihood of another magma flow or and or eruption in the next three to four weeks. So we've been, you know, steadily going up. New models suggest that there is a very high probability that will take place in the next three weeks. You know, if you think about it uh, in terms of inflation, we've been building up quite a bit uh, of adjustment here recently in terms of the inflation. This was a little old. So let me see what we got for our latest data. across the area this is going to be the eight hour run times and um, I normally check out this area here around the Grindavik area little drop here not for sure what that was about um, a couple days ago but overall the inflation chart here remains elevated and almost to the point of where we've seen the eruption uh, last time far as the uh, level of inflation uh, we're pretty much matching it. So they're saying within about three weeks or so. Could be sooner. Uh, I don't think it'll be any later than that. Yeah, there's that 3.4. I'm just kind of curious to see if they uh going to revise that or not. I'm not for sure what's going on with the seismograph stations. They look a little choppy out here tonight. Uh, mostly on the... Uh, it looks like the normal stations that I cover out here so hopefully they will fix themselves if not then we'll uh we'll adjust them accordingly but uh yeah it looks a little a little odd out there intermittent data coming in all right uh space weather activity see what we have here for the uh, latest information I check out the solarham.com site and um Elevated threat here, 25% chance for an X flare, and that is due to primarily uh, because of this sunspot region here, 37, 38, that's been blasting off some M flare, and more recently a, a pretty decent X flare there with an X 1.9 coming in uh, late last night, early this morning time frame. Although it's pretty much out of sight, out of mind here, this region 37, 38, but uh, not a whole lot of complexity with all these other sunspots, I guess. Still kind of watching this region right here, not uh, expecting much from it for now. And all the uh, other sunspots out there look fairly stable. As far as the auroras go, not a whole lot of hope there in that department. Fairly minimal across the board there. Tonight's aurora forecast, well, this is a 30-minute data, fairly quiet. If we look at the uh, actual forecast out here, as you can see, mainly limited up there to the extreme higher uh, latitude areas all right uh what else we got storm prediction center a little bit of noise going on out here across the plain states got uh looks like some wind and some hail threats out there today uh, for the day on tomorrow for wednesday make sure this is wednesday yes it is got uh, mainly some slight weather risk out here across portions of the eastern seaboard with uh, wind, and uh, that's about it. Maybe wind, a little bit of small hail threats out here across Colorado and Wyoming. But uh, aside from that, looks like some wind threats. No tornado threat there for tomorrow. At least less, less than 2%. All right, uh, so we'll keep an eye there on Hawaii with this earthquake activity somewhat ramping up out here. Uh, it's hard to say if maybe there was just one earthquake and they haven't sorted through... Uh, which one is the correct magnitude yet? Because, well, this one's been reviewed. But look, they dropped it down significantly to a 2.8. That was originally a 3.4.
This one here, 3.7. Um, still underneath automatic status, so this could get revised. But that's quite a downgrade there for sure. So they updated that to a 2.8 at uh, about uh, almost two kilometers deep here underneath the area. All right, folks, I'm out of here. Have yourself a good night. Uh, stay safe out there. And uh, there's still definitely some some potential here across the Papua New Guinea area, Solomon Islands area for some larger movement. Seen a lot of deep activity back building here recently and further deep activity today, leading me to believe that we're going to see a larger event take place out here soon around the Solomon Islands area. Uh, not too much going on here across New Zealand for now. Did have a little bit of older movement this morning, but uh, we'll definitely keep an eye on that the seismic gap zone. It's awfully odd. South America, Middle America Trench, all these areas look very typical. Threes and fours stirring up out there today. No major earthquake activity to report, though. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, sometimes I forget to check that, but it's pretty important because they do get some swarms on occasion. Uh, this noise right here, though, looks like it's... Uh, well, that looks like some big-time wind events or thunderstorms. Let's go check it out here real quick. I like to pinpoint odd readings out there. Um, well, there's not a whole lot in terms of wind. Weather radars, we got storms. Yeah, see, there we go. We got those storms brewing up out, out there with lightning strikes all over the place. So I got to remember Yellowstone um, sits within this area here. And sure enough... You know, that's uh, that's what shows up out here. You get those lightning strikes and thunder rolling and maybe even some hail. There's a lot of lightning if you zoom in here. And this is just uh, some recent activity. So, yeah, uh, that's Yellowstone Lake out here. And uh, got some thunderstorms brewing up. Noise on the seismograph station there. All right, have a good night, folks. We'll catch you guys back out here early in the morning for the uh, Wednesday morning update. Stay safe, folks.